So this video is the multiple choice questions for the AP physics exam for the topic of electromagnetic induction. So for the first question, a metal rod of length L is pulled upward with a constant velocity V through a uniform magnetic field B that points out of the plane of the page. So what is the potential difference between points A and B? So the motion of a sliding rod through a magnetic field creates an electromotive force known as motional electromotive force. This electromotive force is the potential difference established between B and A as a result of the rod moving through the magnetic field and it is equal to VB times L where L is the length of the rod. So this is because when the rod moves through the magnetic field the charges within the rod will feel a magnetic force FB equal to VQB. The direction of this force is in the direction of V cross B if the charge is positive. If the charge is negative the direction is opposite to this direction. So for this case where V is upwards and B is out of the page, the direction of V cross B is along this direction. So free electrons in the wire will be pushed to the left leaving an excess positive charge at the right. So here our free electrons will accumulate and this will leave a positive charge at B. And this will establish an electric field between B and A. And this electric field will exert an electric force on a charge in the rod. When equilibrium is reached, the magnetic force will be equal to the electric force and so the electric field is equal to VB and the potential difference between B and A will be equal to EL where L is the length of the rod and this is the electromotive force so A is not correct B and C are both not correct the potential difference or electromotive force established is VBL but as you can see because the electrons move to the left then point B will be at a higher potential than A so the answer is E so for question 2, a circular disk of radius A is rotating at a constant angular speed omega in a uniform magnetic field B, which is directed out of the plane of the page. So determine the induced electromotive force between the center of the disk and the rim. So if we consider a small radial segment here of length dr, then this will be its linear velocity. And this velocity is related to the angular velocity by omega r. So this small radial segment is moving in the magnetic field. And as this equation, the motional electromotive force is equal to VBL. But here the velocity is a function of position. And so the induced electromotive force force between the center and the rim is given by this equation integrating from r equal 0 to r equal a the radius of the disk of v times b times the length of the radial segment so omega r b dr this gives omega b integration from 0 to a r dr and this gives half omega b a square so the answer is c so for question 3, a conducting rod of length 0.2 meters and resistance of 10 ohms between its endpoints slides without friction along a U-shaped conductor in a uniform magnetic field of magnitude of 0.5 tesla perpendicular to the plane of the conductor as shown in this diagram. So if the rod is moving with a velocity of 3 meter per second to the left, what is the magnitude and direction of the current induced in the rod? So as in this case, the magnitude of the motional induced electromotive force in the rod is given by VBL. So it's equal to 0.5 tesla times 0.2 meters times 3 meters per second. And this is equal to 0.3 volts. So since the resistance is 10 ohms, the current induced will be I equal V over R. So 0.3 volts over 10 ohms equal to 0.03 amperes. And as you can see, the direction of V cross B here is downwards. And since the resulting force on the positive charges on the road is directed downwards, the force on the electrons will be directed upwards, opposite to V cross B. And the direction of current, we know that is opposite to the electron, so it would be downwards. So the answer is A. So for question 4, in the figure below, a small circular loop of wire of radius r is placed on an insulating stand inside the hollow solenoid of radius r. The solenoid has n turns per unit length and carries a current i. If the current in the solenoid is decreased at a steady rate of a amps per second, determine the induced electromotive force and the direction of the induced current in the loop. So the magnetic field through the loop is given by mu naught ni. So the area of this small loop 
is given by pi r square and so the magnetic flux through the loop phi b is equal to b a equal to mu naught n i times pi r square if the current changes at a steady rate of minus a then the magnetic flux through the loop changes and from faraday's law we have the electromotive force is equal to the minus change in the magnetic flux through the loop so if we substitute the magnetic flux here we will get this expression and now we want to find the direction of the induced current so since the magnetic flux into the page is decreasing then the direction of the induced current will be clockwise because this induced opposing current will tend to create more flux into the page. And so the answer is A. So for question 5 in the figure below, a permanent bar magnet is pulled upward with a constant velocity through a loop of wire. Which of the following best describes the directions of the current induced in the loop? looking down on the loop from above so by definition magnetic feed lines emerge from the north pole and enter at the south pole and so if the north pole is moved upward through the loop as in this case the upward magnetic flux will increase and to oppose an increasing upward flux the direction of the induced current will be clockwise because a clockwise current will generate some downward magnetic flux and now as the south pole moves away from the center of the loop there will be a decreasing upward magnetic flux so the direction of the induced current will be counterclockwise to generate some upward magnetic flux and so as you can see the answer is c first clockwise then counterclockwise so for question 6 a square loop of wire side length of s rounds a long straight wire such that the wire passes through the center of the square so if the current in the wire is i determine the current induced in the square loop but because the current in the straight wire is steady there will be no change in the magnetic field and so there is no change in magnetic flux and as a result no induced electromotive force or current and the answer is e so for question 7 a circuit contains a solenoid of inductance l in series with a resistor of resistance r and a battery with terminal voltage e at time t equals zero a switch is closed and the circuit is completed so how long does it take for the current to reach three quarters of its maximum steady state value so for this rl circuit the current increases gradually with time according to this equation so if i is equal to 3 over 4 of its maximum value then e to the minus t over tau l is equal to 1 over 4 and so minus t over tau l equal lin 1 over 4 or lin 4 l over r and so the answer is a here this is a typo so this is lin 4 so for question 8 when the current reaches its maximum value how much energy is stored in the magnetic field of the solenoid so the value of the maximum current is given by e over r and e is the terminal voltage so since the magnetic energy stored in an inductor is given by ub equal half l i square so this is equal to half l e over r square or l e square over 2 r square and so the answer is d so thank you for watching and see you in the next video.